Say that again, Brian. It's not on the first yeah, guys, we c if we need to show, if we need to identify this function, if we can you know, prove that it has a maximum or a minimum, then we have to have our two constraints for the EVT to apply. We have to have our two constraints. And our two constraints is this continuous. Well, let's look at it. Is this continuous? Well, you know, we looked at some discontinuities here. And obviously, we know e to the x. Um, that function is continuous for all x. And sine of x is continuous for all x, right? So it doesn't really make sense for us to have any discontinuities, the vi values we can't plug in for x, right? That makes sense. Sine is continuous for all x, and e to the x is sine for all x. However, the issue is the EVT only applies when we have a closed interval, right? So we can't get, like, who knows what this graph looks like? But, you know, if you have this graph, and it's going like this, you can't say what the maximum min is, right? We don't know what the max or the min is. I have no idea what the graph looks like. But if I was to now maybe put a stipulation here, 0 to 1, oh, yeah, we could probably figure that that, that can work, though, now, right? Now we can say there is a max and min, right? And then, then we'd have to go ahead and determine, you know, that now we know that the max and min are going to exist. Now, the other thing about the EVT, though, again, it doesn't tell us where the max and min exist. It's just saying it does exist, OK? And what we've looked at, guys, is the max and mins so far can occur at the endpoints, right? They could occur at y of 0. They could occur at y of 1. But they could also occur inside the function, correct? Right? Or in, you know, like for instance, like here, the endpoints are not the max and the mins, like here's the min in middle. So the EVT just tells us when we can when we know a max and a min exist for sure. But it doesn't tell us where. All right, and we're gonna learn those things how to determine where. And just recall though, it's not always necessarily at the endpoints. It can also be inside. And it's not always where the horizontal tangent is zero. Right? could also be right there, right? So it's not always where the derivative is equal to 0. So we just got to be careful with that kind of thing, all right? But really important, guys, continuous closed interval. Continuous closed 